As jet fighter technology advanced, Sweden anticipated the need for a supersonic fighter that could intercept bombers at high altitude and engage other fighters. In September 1949, the Swedish Air Force, through the Swedish Defense Material Administration, issued a requirement for a cutting-edge interceptor aircraft. The initial requirement called for a top speed of Mach 1.4 to 1.5, but this was revised upward in 1956 to Mach 1.7 to 1.8, and then again in 1959 to Mach 2. The aircraft had to be capable of single pilot operation, combat in all weather condition, day or night, from relatively austere airstrip, and carrying the equipment necessary to neutralize modern jet bombers. The fighter would need to be capable of operating from reinforced public roads, which were to be used as part of wartime airbases. Additionally, it should be refueled and rearmed in no more than 10 minutes by conscripts with minimal training. Saab began work on an aircraft to meet these requirements. Preliminary studies found that a delta wing configuration could meet most of the critical requirements. However, the forward fuselage would need extension to achieve an aerodynamically desirable location, making the aircraft too heavy. The optimum solution was thought to be a double delta wing, but this configuration was new and untested. Therefore, Saab's design staff, led by aircraft engineer Eric Bratt and a team of fewer than 500 technicians, constructed a small test aircraft to explore the behavior of the new wing. A subscale test aircraft called the Saab 210, nicknamed Little Dragon, was constructed in Sweden to test the double delta wing configuration. It first flew on January 1952. The results of these test flights led to an order for three full-size Draken prototypes. The first of these prototype, not fitted with an afterburner, conducted its maiden flight on October 1955. Flight tests of the prototype were extensive, as the Draken was a very advanced aircraft with exceptional speed, range, and complicated systems. The second prototype, equipped with an afterburner, unintentionally broke the sound barrier during its first flight while climbing. The first operational version of the Draken, designated as the J-35A, was ordered into quantity production in 1956. The first production aircraft flew for the first time on February 15, 1958. Mach 2 was reached on January 14, 1960, by test pilot Eric Dahlstrom at the controls of the J 35B prototype. The engine used was a slightly modified British made Rolls Royce Avon RM 6B. A total of 630 J 35 Draken aircraft have been produced, including all variants. The Dragon is a fighter aircraft with a distinctive double delta wing. The wing is so large that it is difficult to distinguish the fuselage from the wing. This design, known as a blended wing body, was ahead of its time. The fuselage has a circular cross-section, and the inboard portion of the wing extends almost to the engine intake. This eliminates the need for a tailplane, resulting in a clean, simple overall design. The leading edge of the inner wing is swept back 80 degrees for high-speed performance, and the outer wing 60 degrees for good performance at low speeds. Lack of knowledge about the historically improven design of the J-35's tailless double delta wing configuration led to challenges at the beginning of its service life. The unstable nature of the double delta wing design made it challenging to land early versions of the J-35, requiring manual stabilization during landing. The design also permitted the aircraft to experience a super stall, an uncontrollable stall affecting aircraft with specific wing configurations during high alpha numbers. Consequently, J-35 pilots underwent training to prevent superstalls, and this training resulted in the development of the Cobra Maneuver. The Swedish Air Force was the first Air Force to develop the Cobra Maneuver, naming it Court Parrot, which translates to Short Parry. The Cobra Maneuver is now utilized by several Air Forces around the world. In a superstall, the aircraft's airflow becomes disrupted, and it can no longer maintain lift. This can be a dangerous situation, as the aircraft can lose altitude rapidly. The Cobra Maneuver involves intentionally entering a superstall and then quickly recovering from it. This causes the aircraft to act as an air brake, rapidly reducing its speed. The Cobra Maneuver was originally developed as a training tool. Initially, it was used during training to teach pilots how to counter superstalls. However, 
It also saw secondary use as a combat maneuver that would cause a pursuing enemy fighter to overshoot, allowing the pilot to repost. The length of the Draken is 15.35 meters. The wingspan is 9.42 meters. The height is 3.89 meters. And the wing area is about 49.2 square meters. The Draken was powered by a single Svenska Fligmotor RM6B turbojet engine, a license-built version of the Rolls-Royce Avon 200 engine. The engine was capable of producing up to 12,700 lbf with dry thrust and 17,600 lbf with afterburner, giving the Draken a top speed of Mach 2.3. The Draken had a range of 1,100 kilometers when carrying a full load of fuel and ammunition. This range could be extended by using external fuel tanks, increasing the aircraft's range to 1,600 kilometers. The Draken could climb up to 66,000 feet. The Saab 35 Draken was equipped with the Ferrani built Airbus 2 radar, a pulse Doppler radar with a range of up to 40 kilometers for air to air targets and up to 10 kilometers for air to ground targets. The radar was also capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously. The Draken's radar was also capable of operating in a ground mapping mode, allowing the aircraft to map terrain and identify targets on the ground. This mode was useful for ground attack missions and reconnaissance missions. The main cannon of the Saab 35 Draken fighter was the 30mm Aden cannon, developed by the British Royal Aircraft Establishment and produced by Hispano Suiza. It was a gas-operated, electrically fired cannon that discharged 30mm rounds. The Aden cannon had a rate of fire of 1,200 rounds per minute. The Draken was equipped with two Aden cannons, one in each wing, mounted in the fuselage. They could be fired through the aircraft's air intakes. The cannons had a total ammunition load of 200 rounds. The Saab 35 Draken has six hardpoints for ordnance or drop tanks, with a total capacity of 2,900 kilograms. These hardpoints are located on the fuselage and wings. The Draken can carry a pair of RB-24 Sidewinder missiles on its fuselage hardpoints. It is also armed with RB-27 Falcon and RB-28 Falcon air-to-air -air missiles. Additionally, the Draken has the capability to carry two 75mm air-to-ground rocket pods ventrally or 12 135mm rockets on six underwing pylons. The 75mm rocket pods each carry 12 rockets, effective against ground targets such as tanks and bunkers, while the 135mm rockets are more powerful. The fighter can also engage ground targets using the AGM-12 bullpup, which although relatively simple and effective, is considered relatively inaccurate for ground attacks at close range. The Danish export version of the Saab 35 Draken was modified to meet NATO standards and fitted with 1,000-pound bomb hardpoints. This modification allows the aircraft to carry a wider range of ordnance, including larger bombs and missiles. The Danish Draken is also equipped with several NATO standard systems, such as radar and avionics, enhancing its compatibility with other NATO aircraft and improving its overall capabilities. By the mid-1980s, the Draken had largely been replaced by the more advanced Saab 37 Vigenfighter. However, it continued to serve in the Swedish Air Force until 1999 when it was retired due to high maintenance costs. The Draken's popularity endures among aviation enthusiasts, with some still in operation and frequently showcased in air shows.